everybody, it's Jess here with Less Dress. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I got my girl in the back. Okay, go ahead and buckle up. I thought it'd be fun to take you guys with us today on a daily vlog. This is like girls day out edition. So I'm actually meeting one of my best friends. We've been childhood friends. You guys, I, if, you, if you've been around for a while, you know my friend Shay. She's come to visit us. It's so crazy. We went like 10 years. We went 10 years without seeing each other. And then... When we moved to Indiana, we moved within like an hour and a half of each other. So it's been really great. And uh, we're, go ahead and buckle up because we've got to go. Um, we are actually meeting her for lunch today. We're going to meet halfway-ish. And we're going to do some fun girl stuff. So go ahead and buckle up. Um, I thought I could carry you guys with us today. Uh, it's been hard this summer as a special needs mom, a mom of three. Um there are certain things that really help me like mentally with self-care and stuff and talking with friends is like definitely one of the biggest ones just having some like girl chat talk just like you know connecting with like Shay's not a mom but sh she is just such like a good sounding board for me and so I want to introduce today's sponsor for this video and then I'll meet you guys back a big thank you to better help for sponsoring today's video during hard times, it can be so hard to feel like you have no one to talk to. We've all been there, and it is a very isolated feeling, and it can really lead you down a very negative path. During 2020, I think we all went through a very hard time. Me especially, I have shared before of the season that was really hard for me in 2020. So basically, I had my son in February of 2020, my last little baby, and a month later, the whole entire world shut down, and I'm still trying to get the hang of, you know, sleeping and <laughs> breastfeeding and all the hormone changes, and suddenly, you know, my big kids are home from school now, and I'm trying to do school with them. I have a son with special needs, and his school is very challenging. His therapies are very challenging, and now I'm suddenly trying to do all of that, and I felt like I was failing at every turn. I can still tear up when I think about that time and how I felt. I can remember exactly how I felt. I felt like I was failing. I felt like no one understood. I felt like no one even cared because everyone had their own issues going on during that time. I didn't even really feel like I could talk to family and friends about the struggle I was under because everyone was under a struggle. Even like we were dealing with all of that. In the middle of that, my husband lost his job because of the pandemic. And suddenly we had to move and find new employment. And it was just a really, really hard time. And you know, sometimes you need an impartial person to talk to because sometimes family and friends, they just want to fix it and they just want to make you feel better and move on. And it really helps to have someone that is completely neutral that's there with you in that in those moments. That is why I'm so excited to work with BetterHelp for this video and uh, share with you guys how they operate. BetterHelp is customized online therapy where they offer video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. And I also really love that they have those different options because sometimes you don't feel like seeing someone face-to-face -face in a video. So they have the other options if you don't want to do that. I also really love that you can talk to them in the privacy of your own home and at your convenience so you're not trying to fit in times that don't work for you or driving all across town trying to find the right office and you, you guys know the struggle of that. <laughs> We've all been through that. There is a broad range of expertise in the therapist network of BetterHelp. They have over 20,000 different therapists all over the country, and you're not limited to just the therapist in your area, which is really awesome because we live in a very small town, and so to be able to have access all over the country as opposed to just our limited town is really important to me. All you have to do to get started is fill out an online questionnaire, and then they match you with your therapist in as little as 48 hours. After that, you schedule your video or phone sessions, and you can also exchange unlimited messages with your therapist, and everything you share is completely confidential. I also really love that you can request a new therapist at any time. I feel like this is so important because we all have different personalities and we all jive with like different people. And so if you don't like the therapist that you have, you can definitely request a new one at any time with no additional charge. So you can really find someone that is really going to help you and give you the things that you need. 
Big thank you to BetterHelp, that's Help, H-E-L-P, for sponsoring today's video. I only work with brands that I really believe in, and you guys know this, and I'm so proud to stand by them and share their company with you because I really do think that they want to help you, and I'm so proud to work with them. My discount link, betterhelp.com slash blessjess, will be linked down below in the description box if you want to check it out. Thanks again to BetterHelp, and we will get going with the rest of the vlog. All right, so thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I believe so much in what they do, and I do not think I've been there before. It is not, you should not be ashamed for asking for help. It's like the best self-care you can do. Um, but anyway, you don't always have a friend you can talk to. I've been, I've definitely been there where you don't have somebody to sit and talk to and better help. I mean, amazing, amazing therapist. So anyway, we are going to get started. We have about an hour drive. So I'm going to put the address into my phone. Da David is off today, which is why we're doing this. And he is going to be hanging out with the boys. The so boys, we're gonna have a boys day. We're gonna have they're going to have a boys day. day. We're going to have a girls day. So you guys can come along. We'll get some clips. We're going to meet for lunch. And then I'm not sure what else we're going to do. Me and Lucy may do some shopping because we're. What do you we're, think we're going to eat for lunch, guys? What do you think we're going to eat for lunch? <laughs> Shay told us to pick. But she had told me that there's a really good Mexican restaurant. Um, where the city we're going. And so I was like, yeah, I love Mexican. So let's do it. Um, so anyway, we're going to a bigger city. You guys know that we live in a very small town. And so uh, yeah, anytime we're out in a bigger city, we always like try to go to Target or do different things. So I'm not sure what we're going to do today. We <laughs> we're going to, you guys can come with us. Oh yeah. Maybe we can go to Starbucks. I don't know if we're going to have room for Starbucks after we eat Mexican. Yes, we will. <laughs> See, we're also in one week going to Nani and Poppy's house, so we'll be we'll around the Starbucks then. Yeah, we're about to be gone for like 10 days, so let's go. We're going to hit the road. Let's go. talk to you all day we have been hanging out with my friend Shay I'll insert a picture of us with our snow cones um and we went shopping we, we sat and ate lunch for like two hours Shay's just like such a great friend she's been my friend my whole life definitely the longest um time we've ever had Shay got to come and see us in December but I haven't seen her since then and so it was just so good to just hang out with her spend the day we spent like two hours at lunch and then we yeah, went to like shopping. shopping. When we get home, I'll show you all the stuff we bought. Yeah, and I then... bought even half of it. Don't, don't mind me. Um, <laughs> and then we went and had Snow Biz, which is the best snow cone place ever. They have so many flavors. Lucy, tell them what flavor you got. I got Princess Jasmine. Princess Jasmine. It was a mixture of bubblegum and watermelon. I got Bahama Mama, which is a mixture of pineapple. Um, pineapple. No. Pineapple, lemon, and tangerine. It was really good. And I put cream on it. You got to put cream on your snow cones. So good. And then we sat there and talked for a while. And now we're headed back home. Biggest shout out ever to my husband who spent his whole day off taking care of the boys. I mean, we co-parent, of course. Like, we're married. and But he is such a hands-on dad. And I appreciate him so much. He spent his day off taking care of the boys, hanging out with them so that I could have this time. And it's just so, it means so much to me. So. Help, Lucy is actually a really good help. So I took his help and he's been taking care of the boys and feeding them, cooking for them, doing all the things. So my, I was trying to talk to you guys and I ran out of room on my camera. So I had to get home and get a different memory card. We had such a good time. It was so, so needed. But I thought I'd show you real quick the stuff we got. Yeah, I'll help you. I will help you. My glasses are in the car. Okay, so the first thing, oh, are they in the car? In the, the glasses. Car. 
Um, I promise. So I'll show you the five below stuff first because we only got a few things at five below. I broke Lucy's headphones at her recital on accident because I was like letting Nate borrow them. So you guys know she's obsessed with Stitch. I promised I would replace them. So they had these at five below. They were five dollars. Also, I saw these like plastic tumblers, which we have some very similar to this that are like twice the size. And I just thought this would be more appropriate for our kids. We'll, we won't sell the other ones, but we'll just keep them for backup. But these are really nice. They're four cups with lids and straws. So these will be great for the kids to have for the summer. Um, little tumblers. Can you shut that door that, Lucy, that Layla just opened? And then the last thing we got was Lucy picked up this stitch vinyl. What's it called? Design of vinyl. So she picked that out. So that's everything we got to five below. Let's show you the Target stuff. Actually, let me lay everything out and then I'll turn the camera out. It'll be easier. I got everything laid out. Let me show you guys what we got real quick. So first the stuff from Target. I got Lucy this really cute little outfit. So really pretty like light blue top. And then this like skirt. So cute. Super duper cute. And I thought it went really well together. So we got her that. We got her a headband with a little bow on it. I thought that was cute. She got these in the dollar spot. Sunglasses. We picked out Nate a prize. Nate, do you want to get your special surprise we bought you? Surprise! Nate, look what we got you. We got you a new book. Nate just had a bath. Do you like it? Yay. So that's all the stuff we got at Target. I think that was it. Um, then we went to TJ Maxx. And I found a couple of coffee cups. I don't need them. But I just thought this one was so pretty. It was $5. And I just loved it. And then I saw this for David. Daddy needs a surprise. Oh, this is such a pretty coffee cup. So I got him that. It's only two things I got at TJ Maxx. And then at Dollar Tree, Lucy picked out this pop socket. These are some cat ear headphones <laughs> that we used to have, but I accidentally broke them. So I, I broke a lot of her stuff. Anyway, so we got her new ones. I need some more AA batteries. I got some pot holders because we're running low. Picked out this really pretty nail she picked out this nail polish. She got a surprise. Unicorn thing. We got some straws and then we got Marky a prize. We got him some more cars. He doesn't need those, but we wanted to pick him out something because we didn't buy anything for him. So that's our little haul. And we had such a good day. He did such a good job being with daddy and hanging out. So we had really a lot of fun. Nate, do you like your book? I think he likes it. So this is our little. Not too much haul, but just a little bit. I love this outfit. I think it's so cute. And it wasn't too expensive. The shirt was $8 and the skirt was $15. So I'll have to get some good wear out of it this spring and summer. Actually, summer now, I guess. Did you have fun? I have extra. Awesome. I got a cup. It's a free cup, Mama. What? Oh, yeah. When we went to the snow biz, um... We got this. They had like extra, they call them spill savers. We'll have to wash it because it's sticky. But you could get your snow cone in this so it didn't spill for like an extra 65 cents. So I got, we're going to wash it so she can eat ice cream out of it or whatever. So anyway, I'm going to go, but I will see you guys back in just a little bit. All right, since we've been doing hauls, I thought you guys might like to see all the Amazon haul stuff that came. A lot of subscribe and save stuff came. You excited, Nate? Nate. <laughs> I don't know why Nate's so excited. I'm going to show you guys the stuff that came from Amazon. And then I have some HelloFresh stuff. We're doing hauls. So I figure you guys might like to see what we get on our normal, like, subscribe and scrape. Subs I can't talk. Subscribe and save either monthly or bi, bi monthly or every couple months we'll get it. I love to sub subscribe and <laughs> save. Um, I bought, if you guys remember back a month ago, I found a bunch of Go Go Squeeze applesauce pouches on sale at Walmart. We have so many of them. Mark is working his way through them. He's gone through a lot of them. But Nate does not like that kind. He only likes this regular apple flavor. So I still get these. Do you all see? You want some fish? Okay. Um, 
Uh, anyway, Nate only eats this kind of applesauce. Take the, take them to Daddy. See if Daddy can do it for you. Take them. There's not very many left in that. Anyway, Nate only likes this kind, and this is the cheapest place I can find it. Is Amazon. This like pack of twenty or like seven dollars. I don't know how much it is. It's not that much. I always get Nate's melatonin from Amazon. This is like what the one. The one we use is the natural liquid melatonin. Bless you. This stuff is worth its weight in gold. It, it's liquid, so we mix it with apple juice or whatever. I've been doing goldfish on the app, on the Amazon app too because we go through a lot of goldfish, and these work out cheaper than at Walmart. For both of these, I think I paid ten something, maybe close to eleven dollars for both. So that's cheaper because right now they're like seven dollars each at Walmart. I just started getting these because I like to mix them with my espresso. They're really good. I also thought about trying them for Mark because it's a lot of protein on the days that he doesn't drink a whole lot or eat a whole lot, you know, to get some extra protein in him. Hold on. My battery's about to die. All right, you guys. Sorry. I feel like this is the most chaotic vlog. Um, I also have been getting our toilet paper. It seems weird, but I've been getting the Amazon toilet paper. This lasts us a long time. It comes in like a big box, so um, it's like $20 for all of this, and it lasts a long time, and it's really good toilet paper, so we've been getting this occasionally, and it's just really convenient because it shows up right at your door. So that's all the stuff that's come in so far. I do have some more stuff coming, and when it gets here, like we get our laundry detergent on Amazon, um, subscribe and save. We get, I'm trying to think what else, there's other stuff like the kids' Zyrtec. Also, we got HelloFresh. So these are the meals we got. Not sponsored at all, but I do have a link with them down below if you guys want to try it. We get HelloFresh all on our own. They do not know who I am over there, but we love it. So we got the Bon Mi style meatball bowls. Anything that's like an Asian bowl, I always pick that. We've had these before. The White Cheddar Wonder Burgers. Those are really good. And then we also got the fully loaded pork taquitos. And I think I switched it out for beef. Or did I leave it pork? No, I left it pork. You can also, what I love about HelloFresh, if you don't like pork, you can switch out the protein and get beef. Sometimes I do that, but this time I left it pork. So we got one pork and two beefs. And then they give you, for each individual meal, it's just packaged up like this. So when you go to cook, you just pull out your recipe card, your meat, and whatever bag. And it's so easy, like the directions are so easy to follow. Anybody can make them and they're so good. Sometimes they give us like little samples to try. And this, this week came with this ginger beer, which if you don't know, ginger beer is not alcoholic. It's like, you know, how root beer is an alcoholic. It's kind of like ginger ale, but it's a little bit stronger to me than ginger ale. Um, but it's usually pretty good. So we'll have to try this one and see, but that is my little, package haul from today. Okay, so this may be the vlog of hauls. I've been shopping all day, but, and then I had that little Amazon haul. However, I just realized that we're out of coffee almost, and we're almost out of trash bags. So it's like 30 minutes before Aldi close, and I'm gonna go run and get trash bags, coffee. We're getting a little coffee creamer. I'm going to go ahead and get some of the kids' snacks while I'm in there, too. So stay tuned. You may get a bonus <laughs> Aldi haul. We're going to call this, like, the shopping haul day, I guess. But I'm going to head out. We aren't. We don't live far from the Aldi, so I can go ahead and run and do that before they close. David is, like, the MVP of this vlog because he's been, you know, at home doing laundry and cooking and just letting me have the day off, which has been so nice. It's been such like a nice reset for me. And um, I mean, he does it for me all the time too. And we tag team a lot of stuff with the kids, but I've truly been gone all day. It's 7.30 now and I'm leaving again. And he's always so nice to be like, oh, go, go, I've got it. So big, another shout out to him. When I get home with the Aldi stuff, I'll show y'all. It's been a hot minute since I've been to Aldi. So I'm going to enjoy this. All right, Mark is crying, but let me show you real quick what we got at Aldi. I totally blanked and forgot to get Cheez-Its. I was totally played on getting the kids a couple snacks. However, we just got in all those goldfish, so we'll be fine for the rest of the week, and I'll maybe go in before our trip and get some more Cheez-Its and stuff. But 
got the coffee we like. We love this German roasted mild coffee from Aldi. And then I got David this white chocolate mocha creamer. I usually drink mine black. And then I got some trash bags. I got three of Mark's favorite yogurt. I got some more apples because I realized we were out. These Cosmic Crisp apples are so good. And then I got this giant muck bucket thing. Um, we've been trying to find a solution to put Lucy's stuffed animals in. I was going to get like one of those things that hang on, you know, the corner of the room, like a little net, but I just thought this would be so much easier. It was $10. It was at Aldi and it just hit me. This would be good for her stuffed animals and they'll at least be contained. So I got this like pretty green color. They also had gray, but I thought, I thought this would be nice for her to have her stuffed animals in. It's a big, like 18 gallon tub. I thought that's pretty good for $10. Mark has made a giant mess since I've been gone. He's dumped out applesauce pouches. He's also lined up applesauce pouches over here. Do you guys see this? This is what the baby's been doing. Decorating the house with his stuff. So anyway, I'll be back when they go to sleep and we'll end the vlog. Okay, you guys, so it is now the end of the night and I want to come on here and end the vlog. Um, good night, I love you. So the kids are just now laying down and going to bed. Um, <laughs> they're so cute. We've been trying to let them stay up a little bit later, but Mark was so tired tonight because he only took like an hour nap. So he was ready. I think everybody's quiet now. Hopefully they'll go to bed soon. It's so hard to put the kids to bed. Like at school time, their bedtime is eight o'clock. But during the summer, it's hard to put them down that early because it stays daylight here until like 9.30, 9.40. It's still daylight. And so it was just really weird to put them down when it's so bright outside. But hopefully it'll start. What's the, we aren't even until the long, longest day of the year, I don't think. It's coming up soon, hopefully. Um, but summer is just so weird here because we are, uh, we are in the eastern time zone. And so that puts us, it just puts us in a weird time where we get a lot of daylight uh, during the afternoon and evening. Anyway. So we had a really great day. I didn't even realize how much I needed today until we did it. <laughs> but it was so nice to be able to catch up with a friend. It just does so much for like my brain, my heart. And like I said, me and Shay have known each other. Our dads went to college together and we're roommates. So we've known each other our whole entire lives. And when she was, um, right after she graduated high school, and I'm a couple years behind her in school, she moved to Indiana and I went a long time without getting to see her. She came and saw us when I was barely pregnant with Nate. And then we went like 10 years without getting to see each other. And then when I moved to Indiana, we have really been able to catch up. And I told her today, we do not need to let six months go by. It's just so hard. Like if we get busy, even though we're close, we're still like an hour and a half away. Um, this spring has been crazy with me getting the flu, Lucy getting the flu, all the winter weather we've had. Mark's gotten sick a bunch and it's just kept me really busy, but I don't want to let that long go by without catching up again, meeting halfway, having lunch, having something <laughs> and just catching up because she means so much to me and it was so fun. Um, anyway, so that is the vlog. I know there was a lot of hauls mixed in there today. It was like one of those days where we just shopped around and then came home and there was more stuff that I bought. So now I like can't buy anything the rest of the week. I need to rein it in, use what we have because we're going out of town a week from today. So I've got a week to really power through a bunch of videos for YouTube and do a bunch of stuff at home and kind of gear up to go on that trip. So thank you for hanging out with me today. Big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video again. And I will leave their information down below if you need someone to talk to. Definitely reach out, um, you know, I, I, I think we don't admit that we need help enough and, um, you know, call a friend, <laughs> go on a walk, do something for yourself. It's so easy to put yourself last as a being a mom and you really need to take care of yourself, Just take care of yourself so that you can be, you know, a better mom and your kids will have a better version of you. So my phone is beeping. I don't know who it is. I will see you guys tomorrow. If you like the video, you want to see more like it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. So I know what kind of vlogs you guys like. Definitely leave me a comment down below. If you went and did something with your best friend, what would you do? And, um, subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all tomorrow.